bukan hanya smart province uh, dalam bentuk sebuah jargon yang kita sebut, tetapi adalah bagaimana itu bisa meningkatkan produktivitas, terus kemudian peluang yang ada di uh, bukan hanya di kota, tetapi juga di uh, desa. Oleh karena itu, kami fokus bagaimana mengembangkan smart village di Jawa, Jawa Barat, sehingga penduduk yang ada di sana mendapatkan peluang yang lebih besar uh, untuk mem- meningkatkan kapasitas mereka ya bukan hanya dari sisi sosial tetapi juga ekonomi. Tentunya dengan adanya uh, services yang sudah disiapkan oleh EDBLS ataupun kami memanfaatkan ini, pertama adalah deliverynya ke masyarakat menjadi lebih cepat. Uh, when people ask uh, have you eaten today, in many languages the, the sentence actually reads have you had rice today? Rice is, is, is the staple food for more than half of the world's population. Innovating for life means building sustainable cities with sustainable food sources. That's another area in the whole food supply chain that we see major opportunities to use cloud computing for as a sustainable rice platform to document the entire production of the rice that consumers purchase. The vision of the Smart Selangor Smart State program is to make Selangor the premier smart state in ASEAN by the year 2025. We're looking at digital infrastructure for the state and how can we build uh, what we call the gigabit network for the state of Selangor for government use. But outside of office hours, how can we share that bandwidth with the citizens to do things like free Wi-Fi or perhaps free Wi-Fi for the rural areas in particular? In the short term, between now and 2022, we will be focusing on transport and mobility. How do we make this public service a bit more accessible and more informative for the citizens? Lighting is all about improving the lives of people, making them feel safe, making them feel welcome and energize people. Lighting is a critical infrastructure, so security and scalability are really important to cities across the globe. It's not just the scalability of how many cities we add, but also scalability for a given city. The AWS infrastructure provides us with the flexibility to really grow in line with our customers. Cambodia is considered one of the more vulnerable countries in the ASEAN region to the effects of, of things like flooding, being on a floodplain and having obviously the monsoon season every year. And so there were some of the most significant floods in the country. As a consequence of that, we saw the need for uh, disaster preparedness and an early, early warning system to be put in place. People in Need has a, a really progressive approach to the work they do and the strong technology focus within the projects that we work on. We now have the system in place, which is a browser-based web application, which works online and offline, is accessible to in all these locations around the world and provides an intuitive, simple platform for, for not only accessing information, but also providing tools to, to get these services and these um, provisions to the people when they most need them. Land transport in Singapore is very key to economic development. We move at least 2.2 million commuters every day on public transport. So there is a lot of activity, a lot of touch points, and these touch points generate a lot of public feedback. And we need to respond very quickly. We started to look at the cloud as an alternative. Our experience at the Land Transport Authority of Singapore with AWS can be summed in three words. It has been faster, cheaper, and better.